crazy person or two. You are seeing more and more, especially now in our schools. I want to show you a couple of videotapes here. Here's a school teacher on tape talking about the most effective ways to insert the teachings of Karl Marx into the classroom for children. Watch. How do you actually, as a, as a teacher in a classroom, kind of promote ideas of Marxism or to kind of begin to fight for those things? I think, you know, part of it is, that in, particularly at a high school level or an elementary school level, you have to be careful, you know, because your, your job, they, they want you to stick to fairly narrow things, and that can be very frustrating, but I do think that wherever you possibly can, part of it is actually just allowing for room for critical thought in the classroom and allowing for students to think for themselves, talk about issues wherever possible to bring in history and, you know, radical <laughs> the past and fight for that kind of thing. And I think there, there is space to do that, even if there's limitations on it that we have to, to do to try to provide that room in our classrooms. I think radicals and socials have a particular role to play in kind of fighting for that type of education. So why is it that people aren't up in arms? The Federation of Teachers in California, an arm of, uh, of uh, AFL-CIO, they're supporting a cop killer. Why? Why aren't people up in arms? Then you have a member of the Revolutionary Socialist who wants to recruit younger and younger members. Watch this. We have to get even younger people. I mean, there's no reason why junior high school students and first and second high year high school students can't become not only in the party and in the movement, but leaders themselves. And I think we should really uh, try hard to recruit younger and younger people. Junior high. They might be dreaming it up, but many others are getting it done. Let me show you a teacher now who got their kids to sing uh, at Riverwood Elementary School in Tennessee. Stop. Stop the tape. Here the kids are singing, boycott, petition, let the big business know. Really? Now, if, if you had a child in this class, would you be outraged? Would you say something? Would you stand up and say, what the hell is going on? I'm sure there were a lot of people that were upset in this school, but one parent, one, had the courage to stand up and say something about it. 